お兄ちゃん Lucy, my boy. What's good? How are you? I'm well, my lady. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know how I am so into how men think, yes. right? Yes. And I always ask you questions about how men pee and how、oh, balls、God. can be so dangly. This is going to be another gross you... episode, isn't it? It might not, but I will be asking you questions about sex. Okay? Is that cool? It's always cool. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid to be busted? Lucy, first question. <laughs> That's just the intro. <laughs> Can you、I'm、just let it, let it run first? Let's know. I'm sorry. I'm, excited. I'm always excited to learn new stuff about boys. Man, boys are such. Boys are not as boring as you think, guys. Boys are really interesting and intricate and delicate creatures. Yeah, I don't think we appreciate delicate, but okay. Then you guys be doing men's rights, men's rights, men's rights. <laughs> This is such a chill vibe. How often do you actually think about sex? I would say I think about it like a couple times a day. Once you've had sex, it just naturally crosses your mind, I think. Not like consistently, but like. It'll pop in. When I was virgin, every single hour. Lucy. Yes. Okay, you've heard a few men before you speak, so I think now you have, you're comfortable now talking about、yeah. who you are. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so、uh, the question was how often do I think about sex?、Yeah. My, to be honest, I'd say when I was like a teenager, it was like, oh, I had to have sex all the time. It was though, because you're a teenager, you don't pay rent, you don't do nothing except just. Okay. Goof off. So,、okay. yeah, but as I grew older and then life kicked me in the nuts, I'd say probably once a day. Once a day. Wow. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do a two sides of, the, of a coin type of thing.、Uh -huh. Okay. I really never used to think about sex when I was a teenager. I、mm. mean, it existed. Yes. I mean, it was a thing. I did consume a lot of porn. <laughs> But I don't think, you know what? It's not like it was just entertainment. Look, I view porn、mm -hmm. as entertainment. Are you not entertained? Something with a plot line. Wait, the prevailing plot line was I can't afford pizza. It was a good plot line. So <laughs> many people can't afford pizza. Have you seen the economy? I mean,、right. <laughs> okay, yeah, but now at least. A couple, I mean, a couple of, I can relate to these men actually thinking of sex like 20, 10 times a day. <laughs> We continue. Yes. From every single day. After that, maybe once a day. When did you lose your virginity? How was it? I actually lost it in October of 2020. And it was not the way I imagined it. Because I come、no. from this family, I'm like. In、oh. the height of the corona? <laughs> Bruh. Hey, I look. Was just, I was like, this 2020? <laughs> We was in quarantine. We had to keep busy. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna wait until I get married. That was like a late night snap call. I actually lost it pretty early, around 14. And it was by far not the best、uh, experience. I'll admit, like, it wasn't the best. Obviously, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I thought it was great. It wasn't like how you would think like, porn is. Yet it was still good though. <sighs> For a long time, I actually thought that I had really, really young onset erectile dysfunction. I had like incredible anxiety when it came to sex. And so every time there was an opportunity to have sex, it just. My body was not on the same page. There was actually one person in particular who I'll never. Yo, like. Where? <laughs> I'm just saying, I feel for him. Like, he, he made me sad just now. I'm just like, yeah. Because、oh. TV has put in our minds that, oh, our first time experience is meant to be special and that kind of thing. Nobody really tells you all the gross stuff about it. You, actually, you know what? To be honest, I knew all the gross stuff about it already because my friends were having sex. Yeah. So I always saw sex as like. You? Bruh. It's like, <laughs> nobody tells you it's wet, it's sticky, it's sweaty, there's、yeah. spit everywhere, there's bodily fluids everywhere. And What if type it's of sex are you having? Hey, look, 
I let's let's just keep it going. So, when was your first time? Uh, I actively lost it around my early teenage years, around 13, 12. Mm. Not the best experience I remember. Uh, I was lucid and 20. Yes. Late bloomer. Ah, uh, fun times. Let's go. <laughs> forget but she was like laying on this bed she was like wow you have a naked woman in front of you and you, and you can't get hard you know there was just a flood of like all like the feelings of like inadequacy and all that I had been thinking was going to happen negatively in my sex life did happen in that moment how erectile dysfunction is real guys yeah it, it's not erectile dysfunction it's just one of those days where you can't get it up yeah i mean yeah i mean there are days there, when there, there are days when you're just not attracted to the person you're just mentally not there you're not mm -hmm. connecting like women like to believe that a lot of things go into them being able to sleep with a guy same thing with men a lot of things goes into that the yeah. thing is our standards are lower we go through the same processes you do it's just that we don't set such a high bar or need such a high bar uh no do you need such a high bar if you want to stay a virgin for the rest of your life no you get emotionally attached to girls you have sex with for me it, it, it's based more on the relationship that was built as opposed to how much sex we're having it's hard for me to have sex without emotion and I, I find myself like missing that person after. I was like a late bloom. No, okay, tell us. Mm, I can separate my feelings from sex. Yeah, okay, but let me ask you a question. Do you think girls are incapable of separating their feelings from sex? No, I don't think. It's a double negative. I think they are capable of separating their feelings from sex. Because some men think that it's like it goes hand in hand. Bro, some chick threw me the best pussy in my <laughs> entire existence on earth and says, yeah, it was a one time thing. I'm like, respect. I mean, sometimes they do it's just what to do it and just move on. I mean, it's fine. You don't need the ex internal baggage of dealing with somebody's emotions and personal problems. You just want a genitals. There was nothing more to it. And now you now have to talk about what we <laughs> oh, oh. Like nothing in high school and then like after high school and into college then my girl started paying attention to me so I was like I could care less about being emotionally attached because like any girl that I was mostly attracted to I was like great awesome you know you maybe kind of suck as a person but like oh well like we'll figure that out later <laughs> I'm just happy to be here <laughs> How much do you understand the female anatomy down there? Can you name all the parts right now? Down there? Lucy, go. So there's vagina, <laughs> vagina, 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 vagina. So there are five parts of it. Okay, okay. On the real though, I think there's the labia, there's the clitoris, there's the urethra, there's the uterus, which is the womb, uh, there's the gooch. That's not part. Yes, it is. Without the, without, without the gooch, the go like, your the vagina body. is a big anus. That's all it is, without the gooch. No! The gooch <laughs> separates the vagina from the anus. No, without the gooch, see. it is just a, a big anus. It's, no. Yes. Lucy, it's just there. Stop it. Now. <laughs> if it wasn't there, what would be there? Now you have no. a... No. <laughs> if it wasn't there... A what... void. A freaking black <laughs> void. I don't know. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it just one thing? <laughs> not. See what I mean? That man gets it. A scientist or a major in anatomy. I was thinking about this. Vagina. Good start. Okay, okay. I literally, it's just the vagina, right? <laughs> That's it? So I know the clitoris. Well, the clit, right? I know what the clitoris is. Mm -hmm. My man. Something major and something minor. Labia? I don't think lips are, I don't think that's the real name. Yeah, <laughs> this, this could be dumb, but urethra? Oh, and the hood, right? I think I read that somewhere. The hood. <laughs> First off, I want to get back to man who said lips. You want to know why we call them pussy lips? Because when you turn a woman on the side, it looks like she's smiling at you. Huh? Thank you. I'm here all week. How <laughs> is it? I mean, how much stuff could there be down there? How do I don't want to watch YouTube videos after this now. I asked myself the same thing, man. 
Do you? When I see the gorilla naked, I'm just amazed at the anatomy of men. It's just like, how does it dangle? Why does it dangle? Why do you have so many outside parts? Because it's our insides that didn't fit inside, so it has to hang out. Your testicles. Y'all are very delicate. Bro, testicles are internal organs. Ah, oh yes, I did learn this in biology. Can you describe that feels to ejaculate? Does it feel like me? I would say Okay, so I wanna just hear from you first. You know how it feels like when you've been holding pee in for like very much so. For like two days. No, no no no. I do not know how that feels. Okay. Feel. It's like no. you feel like you wanna pee for so long. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And that the pressure gets beyond unbearable. So finally, it shoots out. But in this case, it kind of hits every single nerve in your body at once, and your senses are heightened for that. How lo however long it is, and it is wild, and it is so intense. Yeah. So. Yeah. Problem is for. Never mind. <laughs> I would say the only time it feels like peeing is like when you're holding it for a really long time and like you're trying to get to the bathroom and then finally you're just like, oh, I don't know, it's like a build up and then it just like, it's like a wave that just, whoosh, you know, but after you look, you feel gross, like most of the time. Why do y'all feel gross? I wanna, no, I wanna understand this. Why do y'all feel gross? I mean, sex is gross, granted. Yeah, but it's like, when you're orgasm, you get an, you're in the throes of an orgasm, you get an influx of dopamine to your brain. Mm -hmm. So intense that I don't know the general biology of it, but eventually when it starts to recede and you can't, you get off that high, because orgasms are a high. So the moment you start to sober up from that high, you're like... But why discuss? First feeling we revert to. <laughs> I was once weak. <laughs> oh uh, no. I like heard it. It's from like most guys. Like once I met, like I feel gross. Do you care if a girl is fully shaved down there? I don't really think it's like my place necessarily to be like. You know what? Actually, can you change this for me? Like I feel like that's kind of weird. I'm a big fan of just vaginas in general. How Lucy, who do you agree with here? I don't care whether you're bald, packet, shaved, dreadlock, mohawk, yeah, because nappy technically hair. women don't really care if you're... Oh. I care when it's like too hairy. Now we fucking and now you bruising me and your hair is slicing up condoms and shit. It's like... Just a flesh wound. You know, hair is strong enough to do that. I mean, they said you can cut through steel with hair. Bro. Yeah. I'm waiting. <laughs> I do prefer clean <laughs> shape, but either way is fine. Yeah, as long as they're hygienic, for sure. Mm. Do you care if your partner doesn't finish? Yes, everyone should care. Oh my goodness, Ugh, this double standard frustrates me to no end. I feel guilty if I don't. When it comes to sex, a large portion of that pleasure comes from seeing the other person's pleasure. If I am with them and I'm like dating them, like yes, yeah, actually like it's the first thing at my list. Like she has to finish. If it's like a little hookup, like I don't, to be honest with you, I don't care. Like, bruh. I mean, it's a hookup. It's supposed to be a one night thing. It's about you. you're there for your pleasure. giving yourself a hand job. We're not in a relationship. I do not owe you that extra effort. But you came. I, I owe you just as much effort as you put in. So if you're not putting in as much effort to make yourself come, see the sense in that? I'll Google it. <laughs> I'll Google it. <laughs> I was more worried about myself. I'm not gonna lie. I am like selfish as soon as it comes to like hookups, but I'm dating you like, I'm making sure that's all I really, really like care about. When I was in my, my long-term serious relationship, I don't think she ever got an orgasm, at least for me. So later in the relationship, I was just trying so hard. I was reading up on a lot of stuff, uh, just to see like, what can I do to make this happen? And it just never happened. But it's a huge hit to the ego. I'm like, oh man, I wonder what that feels like, just because I've never, I mean, I've never experienced that, to be quite honest. Have you ever? So do you men who don't, I have a question, do you men who have never made a woman come, do you ask yourself what it feels like to 
make a woman come? Okay, before you made a woman come, did you always wonder what it felt like? Or did you just, was it just like in its nature? Because I can't okay. relate. I was born with that superpower. <laughs> 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 the question is sexuality. Absolutely, 100%. For a long time, people were like, oh yeah, like, they would assume that I was gay, etc. But for a while, I just hated that. Do people question your sexuality, Lucy? Because I got long hair, people be looking at me sus. I'm like, nah, but I will take your girl with all due respect. <laughs> but I mean, to the question at hand, though. It, I've never really felt, I feel like questioning your sexuality is a sign of insecurity, but in other cases it can be self-awareness. I, I guess I've never been that self-aware or that insecure to the point where I question it. So you've always been like, hmm, vagina? Yeah, pretty much. From the dawn of time. Since go. Are you willing to question your sexuality? F no. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually I decided to take the time to be like, hey, you know, maybe what if this is the case? Um, and I think I did my due diligence and like trying to be honest. <laughs> this man said he did his due diligence. Translation? He took butt, he gave head, he did all kinds of shit. <laughs> hey. So, yeah, you, don't want, you would never do, do your due diligence. No, hey, look, I, I respect gay people. I, no, it's not about respect. Yeah, I get. I, As you, would yeah. you ever try? We know you respect gay people. Are you gonna let me finish? Hey, look, live your truth. I know this kind of <laughs> society does not encourage you guys to be yourselves, but live your truth. But personally, I, I'm good, man. So you will eat another. <laughs> eat what? <laughs> Bitch, I dare you to finish this sentence. This show ends right now.